Today, RSA, alongside the Security for Business Innovation Council, has announced its ninth report. And this report is focused on intelligence-driven security. Intelligence-driven security is the process by which an organization takes all of the information they have relative to threats and vulnerabilities and combines it with the universe of valuable data that's out there. It could come from a lot of different sources. For example, sources of information that vendors have regarding threats and vulnerabilities open source information regarding malware and bad domains, or information that's produced by the government that they only have unique access to. When you combine that information in something approaching real time, that informs the incident response process and makes it a lot more effective. The members of our Security for Business Innovation Council, when we polled all of them, all commented that their incident response process became highly more effective in terms of predicting attacks, in terms of responding more effectively to attacks, and in terms of lowering the risk associated with advanced adversaries like cyber criminals, nation-sponsored attackers, and hacktivist groups such as Anonymous using these types of techniques. The difference between intelligence-driven security and information sharing is that Many of us have believed for some time that information sharing is important, and certainly be, since the mid-90s, there have been many mechanisms for information sharing, and they're good mechanisms. But with intelligence-driven security, what we're saying is, let's put the bar even higher. Let's take all of these different data sources, let's take this universe of valuable data that's out there that I talked about earlier, and what we're going to do is make it machine readable. We're going to make it so it's, it comes in an automated fashion, so that security teams can act upon it in an operational manner, and so they can take definitive actions more quickly that can lower the risk to their environment in the face of these advanced threats that we're facing. No matter where you are in your incident response process, intelligence-driven security is for you. But you have to start with the basics. The first thing you need to do is assess where you are in your incident response process. You could be very advanced, or you could be just starting out. But no matter where you are in that continuum, you can begin this process. The process starts with first understanding, I've got a problem, and that is you're facing advanced threats in some way. And you've got to get senior management support for doing this because there are resources involved. Those resources include people, process, and technologies. The second thing is looking across that adversarial landscape what sources of information are going to be valuable to this process? As we discussed earlier, open source information, information from communities of interest to which you belong, information potentially from the government. All of that can be brought together to differing degrees. Again, whether you're starting out and you begin with one data source, or you may be more advanced and you're integrating multiple data sources. Ultimately, this does involve automation and technology, so you're going to have to bring technology to bear on this problem, and you're going to have people that understand how to use that technology, and they have to have the competencies and the skills in place to uh, make that technology effective in your organization. Now, a lot of the steps that I've described are actually outlined in detail in the report, and that report is available for free on our website. So please go to rsa.com and download the report. I think you'll find it interesting and informative, and it'll help you lower the risk associated with advanced threats.